This is such a percent of the world, which is 22, we're going to set G and set H. I'm going to do number 5. Uh, Mr. Cosmo already answered that one, but um, the main thing I want you guys to remember is that you always do what's in the parentheses first before you do anything else. So if I was to have a problem about something like uh, 2 plus 3 in parentheses uh, minus 4, I'd simply put the data 2 plus 3 first, which would be 5, and then 5 minus 4 would be equal to 1. And so that's how you guys would do these, do these kinds of problems. So let's go to 5 here. Um, and here, pretty quickly, and the only thing you can do is reduce it so it's 2 plus 6, and we're adding 3 and 3 quarters. Okay, so the, oops, there you go. So the common denominator here, Mr. Uh, Cosby, is what? Yeah, it's 12. Okay? 6 goes to 12 twice, and 2 times 1 is 2. 4 goes to 12 three times, 3 times 3 is 9. And we add the numerators, 9 and 2 uh, is 11 twelfths, and then 3 plus 2 is 5. So that's 5 and 11 twelfths, and we're going to the parentheses now. And now we're subtracting 1 and 5 twelfths. So that's kind of convenient, because, um, oops, because the uh, common denominator, or the denominator is the same already, so it's a lot easier. So 1 and 5 twelfths. That's why one of the reasons I didn't want to do this, so quickly, I just realized that myself. All right, so um, all we have to do is subtract 5 from 11. What is that? 6 twelfths. 1 from 5 is 4. Now 6 twelfths can be reduced to what? 1 half. Okay, so the answer number 5 is 4 and 1 half. So what I want you guys to do is going to be, um, like I said, page 322, um, set G, um, do, let's see here, uh, numbers 1 through 6, and then set um, H, do, I can do uh, 1 and 2 also. But then we can set H here, it says, um, uh, draw a bar diagram and write an equation to solve. So um, let's say here it says, Justin jogs 3 and 2 fifths miles every day, he jogs 4 and 6 tenths miles every day, how many miles does a jog every day? So I'm looking at, this is uh, H, number one, H, oops, yeah, number one. And so um, I guess I'm going to do this one as far as the bar diagram. It's three and two fifths, three and two fifths. And the other one was four and six tenths, four and six tenths. So when I say draw a bar diagram, and this is all they're asking you to do. And you can you know, even color it if you wanted to. Um, let's see here. So you can color one, and then color the other one. And so there's your bar diagram, all done. And then, um, right here, both of them, oops, both of them would equal x. And so you can write it like x equals 3 and 2 fifths plus 4 and 6 tenths. All right, and so you're solving for x, you don't know what x is. So when you ask your bar, draw a bar diagram, um, you just draw some bars to represent the parts of the equation in the name. All right, so just solve for x. Um, um, Get your setup with number two. So this is H number two. It says last year we planted a tree that was five and eleven twelfths feet tall. The mission of the tree was seven and two thirds feet tall. How do you think did the tree grow? So it's now seven and two thirds feet. So instead of X, Mr. Woodard, it's seven and two thirds feet tall. Alright? And then we have um, five and eleven twelfths. They gave us that. Five and eleven twelfths. So that's bar, and we don't know what x is, because we're not sure how much it grew. And again, I'll just go ahead and color these. So 5 and 11 twelfths, and then x is the one we don't know. Let me try writing these down. Um, so we've got 7 and 2 thirds, 7, whoops. We've got 7 and 2 thirds, and we're going to subtract 5 and 11 twelfths. And that will equal x, because we're trying to figure out how much it grew. And that's how you would solve that. Just like if I was to write a problem, um, 12 minus 3 equals x. That's another way to look at it. Uh, if the total is 12 and I subtracted 3, that would tell me maybe how much somebody traveled in a day, if it was miles, um, or yards in a football game, and just no telling. Okay? So I've got number 2 set up for you, so we should be able to solve that. And then for the set, we've got the set G, 1, 